Okay, so this example is making a transgenic plant, and this is only one way to make a transgenic plant, but this is done really often. So what it is, is the gene of interest, um, here they're showing it's, um, they're isolating the gene of interest called the BT gene. This gene is produced naturally by a species of bacteria called Bacillus thuringiensis. You don't have to remember that, but I'm just telling you where that BT comes from. This gene um, that's naturally produced by that bacteria um, produces a toxin that kills insects. So what we can do is we can genetically engineer plants so that the plants then naturally produce the toxin that kills insects. What that does is it allows farmers to not have to apply pesticides or to not have to apply as much pesticides because the plants then are naturally resistant to the insects. So we're going to take that BT gene, we're going to um, isolate it, so we're going to cut it out with restriction enzymes. We're going to take a plasmid. You don't need to remember this um, particular plasmid. It's called TI plasmid. But we're going to cut that plasmid with the same restriction enzyme. And we're going to put them together. So that's just like genetic engineering that we've done so far. Okay, And we're going to seal them up with that glue called ligase. And so now we've got recombinant DNA. Next, we're going to put this into a specific type of bacteria. And here's the name right here. Again, you don't have to remember the bacteria name but we're going to make that bacteria take up that recombinant DNA. And this bacteria is special because this bacteria actually infects plants. And so we're gonna use this type of bacteria and we're gonna have it infect plants. And when it does that, it's gonna put that plasmid into the plant. So we're gonna see that in the next picture.